Hey kids, welcome back to Eli's Creepy Corner. You can tell that it's my creepy corner because I'm doing creepy little wiggles with my fingers. I'm doing a really creepy voice and I have a creepy lamp behind me that's gonna mess up my lighting. That's right, in this video, we're gonna be going through some crazy conspiracies that you've never, ever, ever heard before. Why, you may ask? Because I made them up myself. And also the kids at my lunch table helped a little. These theories are scientific proven to make you rethink the universe. Heard of the Illuminati? Well, that's nothing compared to what I'm about to tell you. By the end of this video, you're never gonna look at life the same way ever again. You're never gonna feel truly safe ever again. So I hope that you enjoy and let's get into it. Let's get started with a recent event, the KSI versus Logan Paul boxing match. Definitely not just putting this in so I can put it on my thumbnail and get more views. No, definitely not. A lot of creepy things went on behind the scenes there. The first theory about the boxing match is that it's all done for money and attention. Oh wait, that's not a theory, that's just a fact. Oh, oh dang it! So my chair literally just fell down backwards. I hope that got on the video. There is just one more theory that I'd like to put out. At the first press conference, Jake Paul gave Deji a sick burn. Haha, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty clever and well thought out. But actually, there could be deeper meaning to that insult. Jake just may in fact be yelling Walmart because Walmart does actually sell some Jake Paul posters meaning that he could get money by advertising Walmart. See, I just looked it up and you can find his poster on Walmart.com. Ah! Now there is speculation that Walmart is secretly paying Jake Paul to say this. Have they confirmed it? Have they denied it? Well, I'm too lazy to research that so maybe, I don't know. But discuss what you think about this theory in the comments below. I want to hear what you you guys have to say about this because it is a real issue. <laughs> this next conspiracy might just blow you away. Everybody's favorite reptile, Mark Zuckerberg, get this, he might secretly be human. But that's crazy! I mean, I thought it was too, until I really looked into it. I've just been taught since a young age that Mark Zuckerberg was just wearing a wig and a little skin suit. But actually, his human skin looks pretty realistic if you look at it in photos. And I've never seen a lizard as tall as Mark Zuckerberg or walk on two feet. I feel like I'm crazy for believing this, but Mark Zuckerberg could be a human. There's a small chance of it, but maybe. So leave a comment down below about this. Am I stupid for thinking this, or do you guys think it too? I want a discussion up in here. All right, this next one isn't a theory, but more something I just read online and I thought it was funny. There's just some post somewhere that said Australians swear more because they're upside down and the blood's getting to their head. I don't know about you, but that kind of makes sense. I just never thought about it that way. So if you are an Australian and you're watching this, is this really what what's happening. Like, Australia must be a weird place. People have to stick suction cups on the bottom of their shoes just to get down the street so they don't fall off. Or do they? Does Australia even exist? According to Flat Earthers, the smartest people in the conspiracy community, Australia doesn't exist. I mean, that does kind of make a lot of sense. Before people had suction cups on their shoes like I stated, how would they stay on the ground? Like, how does Australia even stay attached to the Earth? Wouldn't it just fall off into space? Flat Earthers say that the government just pays people to say that they are living on Australia, which does make sense. But Eli, what about all the pictures of kangaroos and koalas? Photo shop. But Eli, I've been to Australia and it was pretty nice. Government spy! Australia doesn't exist, trust me. I don't even know why people believe this in the first place. Could be the Mandela effect. And on that note, I'm gonna end this video off. So which conspiracies do you believe and which ones do you not? You better believe all of them because they're all true because I've all proven to all of them. So like and subscribe if you haven't already and yay!